you. Hey, Jared. It's not ringing. Whenever I dial, I hear him. It doesn't ring. No. Danny, too. How you doing? You there? I'm okay. How are you? Hello? Okay. Hello? How come you Jared you. keeps saying hello? <laughs> I don't know. Is he? Hello? 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 That's weird. Hey, you hear me right, Glenn? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you, Danny, but... Hopefully you guys hear me. Of course we hear you. You keep saying <laughs> hello. <laughs> you know what hello means in French? What? In the wrong... You said Glenn was there? Yeah, we both heard you. Why? He heard me. I couldn't hear you. It was just like... Eh, eh, eh. It was like... It was like... Something was blocking... It's weird, because as soon as you call into his number, <clears throat> it doesn't even ring. Picked up, he's like, hello? He's like, we hear you, Jared. <laughs> okay, hold on. Fuck, I think, it's, I think they messed with my phone line. All right, hold on a minute. All right. Yeah. It should ring. Do you hear him? Nope. Should I call it on mine then? Yeah, probably, yeah. Probably. And I'll leave it on your channel. I'll just call them on my three-way. I'll three-way and then on my side. On your cell phone? Yeah, I'm already on your talk show, so I'll just three-way them on my cell phone. All right, you're going to pay that bill, man. It's free. It's Google Voice, yo. <laughs> all right, that's all right. Just wait here. Hold on. Uh... Hey. Thanks for having issues with Jared. Uh, he's he's on now though, but I try to exactly. testing solar panels and the communications network. <laughs> it's um technical difficulties. Hey. Technical difficulties. Yeah. As always. We shut off our power here. Did they? Well, so you don't have any heat. Any I don't have anything. Uh, For how long? Hey, it reminds me of my youth. Going back to the days in scouting. Hmm. Yeah. How long has it been out for? A couple of weeks. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, they really just shut it off. So what happens they're after... Try, they're trying everything in order to claim possession of the property. Yeah. You know, they, uh, they bill uh, ridiculous bills on hydro. And when I refused to pay, they wanted $15,000. <laughs> they, uh, they cut it off. Really yeah. The cell was just waiting for that because they're tracking everybody that uh, that is involved in this criminal activity of theirs. It's all a cover up of treason. The treason is the importation into Canada of sleeper cells who give birth to future sleeper cells who are then implanted into jobs within the bureaucracy of government and corporations such as Bell Canada, and then take over the communications network of the agency and respond to uh, complaints 
or fail to respond to complaints, depending on what they have to do, uh, with their own version of events, keeping the management of the country or company or agency unaware of the activities. These bureaucrats respond to politically appointed boards of directors, especially to the chairman of the board, such as Ontario Hydro. Um, their chairman used to be the president of Molson's the uh, beer company, and uh, so the hydro appoints a numbudsman, in their case, a numbudswoman, and uh, they respond only to the president of the 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 board or the chairman of the board, keeping out of the loop all of the people in between up to the uh, chief executive officer and chief operating officer the only ones who could do something who know about the business and could investigate or whatever they're kept out of the loop the chairman who knows nothing about hydro and is into beer, uh, he's the one who gets the reports and and will not fill in the line people. The only way you can achieve that status is to infiltrate through the Department of Human Resources, hiring on people who are genetically predisposed to follow the orders of the third party outside the company and to their descendants. So here we have now a bureaucracy in, for example, the border security who makes decisions on who will or will not be allowed entry into the country. If that person is not on board, that person is not allowed into the country. When you bring in 25,000 people from Syria, as they have just done recently, and uh, send them out looking for work, you can be sure they will be hired into those jobs that can be supportive of this third party outside the country. All of which if you define what they're doing, is called treason. Do not allow people who would be of benefit to the people of the country, but only those people who will damage the people already here and enhance the positioning of the people they're bringing in. The important thing about these 25,000 Syrians is they were all chosen by the UN. And the names given to the Canadian bureaucrats who then shipped them on to Canada. This is not new. This has been going on for centuries. Only the names like United Nations change. Common denominator is the letter U, which of course in the US is being removed from many of the words in the 
English language. In any event, that's what we're living in, a police force that has been infiltrated, a hydro that has been infiltrated, a telephone company that has been infiltrated, municipal governments that have been infiltrated, school boards that have been infiltrated, hospitals that have been infiltrated. And by the way, hospitals are the other end of the line. The border people decide who comes in, but the hospital decides who survives. So when you go to the hospital and you're not on the right team, you can be sure that your journey will be shortened by the imported doctors who run the hospital these days. And all of the the nurses in North America are beginning to converge on the word Filipina. They make sure that when you go to the hospital, if you were on the team and you're of no further use, or if you're not on the team and you're a problem to them, you die. It's called murder. But who's going to investigate when the municipality that runs the hospital is in on it? The police that run justice are in on it. The Justice Department to the level of Deputy Minister is in on it. The courts at all of their entry points are in on it. The judges only receive what the bureaucrats give them. And the bureaucrats don't give them anything they've been told not to pass on. So they can never get to know. The President of the United States, the Prime Minister of Canada, they don't get to know anything. Can't write to them. You can't phone them. You can't send them an email without them being diverted by the bureaucrat. Of course, the purpose is, at the end, to cleanse them all from sight. Even the ones they've sent in to be doing the treason they're doing have no long-term value. As soon as their task is over, then they're the next to be disposed of. That's what we're living in. That's why I'm without a tenant. That's why I'm without a wife. And that's why I'm now without electricity. If you don't have electricity, you don't have well water, you don't have means of heating up stuff to cook, you don't have communications. Only old guys like me who kept their old phones Uh, are able to talk to you now because the original phones had an electrical wire included in the communications wrap of the telephone wire. And when there's a blackout, you always have the backup of the phone. But they've, of course, now changed all the phones and nobody 
who has a phone that communicates through the air ends up being able to use their phone as soon as the power goes off. But you've been able to reach me simply because I'm an old fuddy-duddy, 74 years old, with my original telephone. But even that was uh, tampered with, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, everything gets tampered with, but if you're a Boy Scout, <laughs> the first thing you learn is two words. Be prepared. Prepared. There's a saying they say, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Yeah. And it's only hope because it can't happen. It's all about oil. Remember, it's all about oil. And where do you find the word oil? In the tar sands in Alberta that are burning, where 88,000 people had to be evacuated the last two weeks? Or do you find it in their code manual called the Holy Bible? Number two is number one. You can flip a few letters and you have oil. O Y L out of the word holy. It's for kids, that's why it's called a bib. The Bible. L E is the in French. B I B is a bib. It's for the blithering idiots who are suffering from senility or the children too young to know. (laughs) All about oil. And you know the tar sands I told you the last time is from... The word Tarzan, Tarzan was raised by wild animals. That's the history of humankind. The first humans were raised by wild animals because there were no parents there to take care of them. Yeah, they're showing that now, like in the movies now. They, I think they redid Tarzan. Jungle Book. Yeah, Jungle yeah. Book. That's what it was. And it's funny, they call it a, a Jungle Book. Like, it's a um, story, <laughs> the book of life. Well, the letter U is what you look for for anything of any significance. U N U R U L in July. What is the word inferring when you say the word July? that infer that the book written in Hebrew is a bunch of lies? Of course not lies, only misinterpretation. They tell everybody what they're going to do It's just they educate them not to hear.
higher the education, the more specific the knowledge, and the less possible thought expanding beyond your own realm of knowledge. You deal with information and you deal with knowledge, but you have no wisdom. You're blocked from the day you're fabricated. Genetic engineering, social engineering, political engineering, everything, a misunderstanding. Democracy. What's a democracy? Demo is medi, is media. Crack is cocaine. <laughs> and why is two in one? Also, what comes to mind when I hear demo, um, I think of like a test. It's like a test for the real thing. That's that's what they call it, you know, like a demo tape. Demo. The original um, capital of a country called Media. Called Medi. was a part of Iran, what became Iran, between the Himalayas and the Middle East, media under the name Adam, A and E always are interchangeable, so Adam and Medi, number one. Eve, the night before the important one that's coming, Eve, is the temporary woman, the replaced by R.V., Medically engineered, artificially inseminated product. Ave Maria. What's an Ave other than Maria? It's a street, a route, a road called an avenue, a new way. Isn't this fun? (laughs) Watching idiots rule the world (laughs) because their bureaucrats won't tell them anything that they need to know to rule the world. Basically, like, uh, you know, being in the uh, the toilet, watching it go down the drain. And just Yeah. Well, waiting for someone to flush. Exactly. <laughs> Blue at the zoo. Just push the button. Let the wall collapse. You have a date with destiny 
and they put it in their Bible. Starts off at 4000 BC, ends at 2058 plus or minus 4. Is it the end of the world? No, it's the end of the world as we know it. And as we know it is a world run by bureaucrats. The ants, who are number one, are in hiding underground. And they pick and choose the leftovers that are the best for them and take it underground. The rats are simply explorers. The bats allow you to go higher and further, and the cats allow you to go outdoors, while the mountain cats provide you with power of money. I've been doing that, Glenn. I've been watching, uh, just you know, watching shows on different uh, animals and nature, and I'm seeing like cats. Uh, they're they're all the same, basically the, the size and everything. The, the only thing that they, they, they just design for their environment, but they basically behave <laughs> very similar. Well, they they lived indoors, those cats. And only the mountain cats, the ones that grew much bigger, ended up living outdoors and had the strength in their neck and jaw to pick up a child and take it to a cave. While the other ones were basically just expanding the exploration during daylight hours, they'd come out of the caves and and expand the exploration. But those that ended up living outdoors got much bigger. Puma thinks they linked the puma to. Uh... Clothing, and they're known for making uh, shoes, sneakers for sports and stuff. Yeah, it's got a U in it. Mm. Check always the it has poo. that have U. It has poo and uh, ma. Ma, it's connected to the mother and, and, yeah. and poo. <laughs> P-U. P-U. <laughs> P-U. You P-U. think... The cat, the lynx cat, too. Yeah. Yeah, I've, you know, look, the lion is interesting. You, you see all these, uh, these animals in nature. Why is it that the business club for men with power is called the Lions Club? Uh, some of the other clubs go in circles, like the Rotary Club. <laughs> Yeah, and thinking of rats too. Uh, if you want to compare them to uh, uh, bureaucrats, um, they lead the way, and they also they 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 practice um, cannibalism. They'll eat other rats, right? So they have um, an advantage in the fact that they usually are the first to know. Now, it's what they do with what they know that determines what happens next because somebody's been elected to be in charge of making decisions. Those decisions can only be made if you have the information brought to you that then ask you to make a decision. 
But if you have bureaucrats, rats who sit at a desk, or in French, a bureau, then those people have the real power. Who are the bureaucrats of the Vatican? Nuns. Oh, and speaking of bureaucrats, I did, uh, I was, uh, just researching and stuff, I found that, um, the word Mandarin, you know, it's linked to, you know, oranges, and it's also was, uh, a bureaucrat in China. There was, like, yeah. a whole class of them, they were called Mandarins. But that's how they Why ran. does it have the letters DNA in it? <laughs> Why does it have the word the, the letters for the word red in D E R red backwards? You find it's not so much, Glenn, you know, um just by looking at uh, the words and you you know, I find it's just by just looking up a word or looking up a concept that you mentioned it'll lead you to things that you don't like expect to find. You just find. You just, it just pops up, and then That's you're going what on. You need. <laughs> the one out of the things that I can think back on now is the day I made a decision to go on this journey. You two guys would probably understand that more than anyone else. I had a choice of having discovered that things that I thought were true, politics, religion, what have you, were in fact not true. And then I had to make a decision. And the decision was to learn what was really true. And I discovered that you can't have a job and find out the truth because it takes too much of your time, too much of your brain to work at a job. And people have rights over your activities and therefore you will never find out the truth if you're working at a job, especially a job for somebody else. And that's when I decided that I would go on a journey. And the journey would either lead to my death or to my learning, hopefully the learning would come before the death, and it has. 30 years next month since Rock LaSalle, the Minister of Public Works of the Canadian government, asked me for a bribe. And I discovered that politics was crooked, and that people were claiming things that were not true, and that the police would protect them, and the courts would protect them. Mind you, courts and police have no problem if they're ordered that this person has served his usefulness to arrest them. But they're not usually involved with anything important. The important thing is what's life all about? What's going on here? What's it all about, Alfie? You cannot do that if you have a job. 
you guys, if you had work, wouldn't be on the telephone to me today. <laughs> Probably be out shopping for groceries with your wife. <laughs> so that you could go back to work on Monday. You probably have the only day of the week where you could spend time with your children, if that's what you wanted to do. But you certainly wouldn't have time to learn, because... The only thing you have to learn with is a radio, a television, a newspaper, a book, and they're all run by billionaires. Do they want you to know what's really going on? Do they want you to take their place in society? Somehow, I doubt it. They are billionaires because they've been allowed to become billionaires. They are billionaires because they invest their money where they're told to invest it. Is it an accident that someone who plays the stock market, averages a 5% gain. That someone who plays the stock market and works at the stock market averages a 10% gain. But someone who makes the laws that govern the stock market's ability to make gains, senators, make 15%. Are they just geniuses that make it to the Senate? Or is that a reward for doing what they're told to do and by paying them off through the stock market, it hides the undiplomatic way of accepting bribes. Of course, they say, but my money's in a blind thrust. Yeah, who's managing it for you? Someone who gets a cut off of your 15%. Anyways, that's life as it really is. Tough life. Tough anytime, life. Anytime, yeah, anytime you too. Find an opportunity to come and visit. You're welcome. Bring something to eat. <laughs> I definitely would, but <laughs> I'll try to bring Pizza, some uh, Chinese food and Kentucky fried chicken are favorites. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. I'll try to bring something for the cats, too. That wouldn't be a bad idea. A bag of cat food set you back about 35 bucks with tax. And they go through uh, about five a week. Wow. How many cats do you have now? I have no idea. There are too many. (laughs) (laughs) Do you have any animals left? I I have uh, two goats out of the 18 goats we had who s- survived thus far. And guess what? They had a baby last week. Ah, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. 
I feel like a grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> but it reminds me that goats are the symbolism for Freemasons. So I don't know how how much you get in the way of learning from the goats. The cats, on the other hand, well, most of them are running free, but they come back for lunch and supper <laughs> and whatever when, whenever they haven't ca- caught a mice, a mouse, or a rat or a bird. And I've tried to set up a uh, an attraction on the farm for. Uh, rats to go visit away from from the house, mind you. And uh, I'm sure a lot of the cats hang around that area. And are, <laughs> are fed basically their perfect meal is a mouse. In the meantime, they have to, have to eat the cat food that I put out. And the cat food that I put out has 30% protein, which means that uh, should it become necessary, I could even survive on cat food. (laughs) Uh, So wish everybody in the U.S. a, a good summer. And tell them to keep at least one eye open at the Great Lakes to see if this will be the year. Don't forget, Cleveland is supposed to be the winner of this year's basketball. LeBron James at the helm. Cleveland is a city on... Lake Erie. Erie is a word derived from Ire, Ireland. Three of the four letters of the word fire. Mm-hmm. In the French language, rising is le vie. Cleveland. Le V, C, Le V, DNA, and Cleveland is isostasy, the rising of the land when other parts of the land goes underwater, keeping the balance. But they have 42 years on their own calendar if you go to 2058. So can it be this year? Sure. But can it take 42 years? Sure. Can it be any time in between? Sure. When the land rises and the water pours out of the Great Lakes, goes down a place called Flushing, New York, where the UN was created, will be a symbol to the whole world that the UN's time is done. Their shelf life has expired. They have graduated sleeper cells to the tune of 12 million out of Syria are in the process of distributing them according to their gene pool all around the world while Saddam, which has Adam in it, is being allowed to murder the headquarters of each gene pool that is no longer needed. 
how many leaders of countries have been allowed to set up cannons and airplanes to kill their own people. Usually that means not the end of times, but the beginning of new times. Get rid of one set of gene pools, put in another. So unless you have a question, I got cats to take care of. Bye right, for now. Okay, go ahead. Very good. All right. Yeah. Bye.